to this weekend? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, if, you, if you've had enough snow and you love orchids, have we got a great idea for you. It's the annual orchid show taking place at the Town Hall Conference Center in West Hartford. We got a preview of the show from one of the growers. Take a look. For Herb B. Fishman, his connection to orchids started many years ago. When I was in college, uh, freshman year, I bought a corsage for, uh, for the dance. And they charged me seven bucks, and I was outraged. So the next year, I got a hold of different people, and uh, I took orders, and I sold a hundred orchids to the various people. Did you grow them yourself? No, I got them from the orchid flower shop in downtown Hartford. The next year, I started going to all the dorms and all the fraternity houses. And by the time I graduated, I had 27 guys selling orchids for me. Selling orchids is one thing. Growing them is another. Herb was around the age of 40 when he started the growing process. And as you can see, he's been quite successful. It's a method of recognition. Recogni to rec do you to recognize, recognize what the name of the plant is, where it grows, and what it needs to, re to replicate the, the atmosphere and the climate that it was in Okay. when it was uh, just brought to the States or elsewhere. So all of these orchids behind us come from a different place depending on the species? Yes. And they have to be cared for differently? That's a cattleya. This is? That's a phalaenopsis. That, now that is the, the, I call that the grocery store orchid, is that correct? That's right. Big box orchid. Uh, they have hybridized them to so many different generations now. This guy has little diamonds, that guy has medium-sized diamonds, and this one has big uh, spots. The attention and love that Herb devotes to his orchids are what makes them thrive. That and food. You feed them. Feed them an orchid food? Uh, any kind of fertilizer is all right. They, they want the rare earth and, and uh, minor elements like boron and, and other things. They can only absorb a certain amount, and if, if you get too much fertilizer in the pot, then the salts will kill the weed, uh, the roots. Okay, the, the fertilizer will actually So them. they need to be fertilized, and then they need to be flushed out. I heard the ice cube once a week. Whoa, is that is that some crazy if, myth? If you would like to have one put down on the back of your shirt, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good analogy. So don't put an ice cube on an orchid. That's absolutely correct. And that's like a human getting an ice cube down its back. Orchid growers say when you water an orchid, make sure the water is in the 70s. Oh, okay. So don't water with tap water that's in the 50s or 60s. Okay, that's good advice. And it, it, it uh, helps them grow. Um, what you're interested in in making a plant healthy is the roots. Would you like to meet Herb and many other folks interested in orchids? Well, if you've got some time to spare this weekend, you're in luck. On um, March 15th and 16th, we'll have uh, the Nutmeg State Orchid Show in the Town um, Hall Conference Center in West Hartford, okay. 50 South Main. Um, it'll start at noon on Saturday, go till 5, and um, start at on Sunday and go to four, and we'll have uh, hundreds of orchids for sure. We have five sister societies, so other uh, Northeast orchid societies that are coming, and they're going to bring. They'll all bring their their plants, so we'll have displays from all of them, and we have five um, vendors from the Northeast that will be there selling orchids, and they also display orchids. Um, so it'll be a you know hundreds of orchids there, both to buy and to look at. Take a break from winter and check out some of the most beautiful orchids. We'll have a huge display from our society and Herb's plants will be in that display. That is very cool. Really so pretty. beautiful. Can you imagine that? The pool with all the orchids around. What a beautiful place. Like going and like, like think about things and kind of come one with the universe again. Yes. You know what I mean? As you want to become one with the universe, right. the show is this weekend. And we're going to have all the information on our website. Are you a gardener? Can you do it? You know, we're talking about finally doing a garden this year. Get the young kids, you know. It's not always that much. You know, it's very time intensive. But right. we're going to put them to work this year. We've got them all set up. i got brand new gloves for them. And we're going to say, you go. you got to do the garden. That's uh, my goal, too. I keep saying that. I want to grow three things. Like maybe something. Just start easy. simple. Like maybe tomatoes, broccoli, and lettuce. Cucumbers. Cucumbers.